first thing we know that there is this huge tsunami right over 50 percent of all business owners are over the age of 55. Now the 50 percent of all business owners that are over the 55 there's going to be a huge number of transitions so you've got these business owners that are looking to transition out of the business. Out of those business owners, think about the number, they're going to start to think about retirement options and transitioning out. Think of the fact that 64% of all business owners plan to use their business as the primary source of retirement. Think of the fact that less than 15% of business owners, or say less than 20%, depending on where you get the stats from, of business owners currently have an exit and succession plan. And we know for a fact with our strategy that what we monitor, what we plan for, we're going to do extremely well at. The other thing is that you think of this huge volume of people, and you think that currently this space of trade sales, exit and succession planning is all done by separate barrows of advisors. So we've got lawyers involved, we've got accountants involved, we've got general advisors, we've got private equity people. Private equity people are probably the most educated in the process. But we've got everybody and nobody's on a single page. So we need to have a methodology, a set, to put us all on the one page. So what is that methodology? What we're trying to do with these business owners is to educate them that there are three sides, two sides to it. So first of all is business owner readiness so that's getting the business owner personally ready for this transition and then we've got the business readiness so with the business readiness what we're trying to do is to talk to a business owner that if you prepare for this transition when do business owners mainly prepare for this transition when they're about to transition. So what happens to the value of the business? Yeah. Goes down. What happens because of the increase in supply of a number of businesses on the market? Where's the pressure on the price of the business? Going down. What happens to this lower end of the market? Are they going to sell if they're not properly prepared? They're not. So what we need to do is we need to focus on the business value. So business value as we've talked about and David's shown the same thing the easiest way to think of business value is multiple times EBITDA or EBIT depending on which way you're going to do it so EBITDA or multiple so we need to help the business owner to go through a readiness phase so the first thing we need to do is understand what business value is all about so the first thing is, is an education process. And our education process is first we're going to talk about two parameters on the business value side. The first parameter on the business value side is what? So we're going to change this multiple and we think about multiple as risk. What's risk? What are our two equations for risk? BR and BA. What does BA stand for? Business attractiveness and exit readiness or business readiness is the other side. So what we're trying to explain to a business is that all businesses are graded somewhere between D grade businesses and A grade businesses. So when we're thinking of business value, what we want to do is be able to say to a business that here are the characteristics of attractive businesses. Here are the characteristics of A-grade businesses. So A-grade businesses are not reliant on the business owner. A-grade businesses have lots of customers. A-grade businesses have recurring revenue. So we're going to go through an assessment with a business and we're going to mark them of whether they're an A-grade business or a D-grade business. And if they're an A-grade business, they're going to be up the scale of multiple. So in any industry, there's probably going to be some sort of a multiple range. So that multiple range is three to five. Then our assessment is going to give them an indication of where they sit in the multiple of three to five. <laughs> And then we need to work with them on a plan to lift that multiple. So the first thing is 
for finding out where on this scale they sit. The next stage to that is to then work with them on a plan to get them ready. So that's the exit planning readiness. We know that upwards of 50 to 90 percent of all businesses, 60, 70 to 90 percent of all businesses will be devalued at the time of due diligence. They'll be devalued at the time of due diligence because they haven't got Process. systems, processes, policies, they are aligned on the business owner. When we do the deep dive, so they may look attractive, but if they haven't got their accounts in order, if they haven't got their financials, if they haven't got good systems, they might think they've got good systems, they haven't got good systems, they'll be devalued. So this is where we need to, from here, we're going to drive a series of actions. So this is actions. We're going to drive a series of actions that's going to be able to help that business to lift their value over a period of time. Now that's on the business readiness side. We know that there's uh, a business owner readiness. So with the business owner readiness, there are two major areas we're going to look at. So one area we're going to look at is we're going to look at personal wealth and risk. So what's the point of selling your business right up here if you're only going to end up with that much? Because you haven't appropriately looked at your tax considerations and your structures along the way. Can you change your structures? Can you really maximise your tax a month out or after the transition? Or is it something you've got to work on literally years out? So the more you concentrate, the better it is. Also managing wealth. Most business owners are too busy to manage their wealth, their personal wealth. There should be different strategies. We've got an aggressive strategy, we've got lots of cash coming in. Our, our strategy might be less aggressive and more passive after we've made the sale and we've got no income. So we need to consider our personal wealth in here. 50% of business owners are hit with the five Ds. Death, disability, divorce, distress. So 50% of business owners hit, so we need to manage risk. There is a responsibility that we have. Our personal wealth is tied up in the business as a business owner. So we can have upwards of 50% of our personal wealth, 80%, 70%, whatever the number is, of our personal wealth is tied up in the business. If we suddenly pass away, die, whatever, what happens to our business? It gets devalued. So we need to have a death contingency plan. We need to make sure that we've got good estate planning in place. So that's the risk component. The other side to it is that we need to think about life after plan. What we're going to do when we sell the business. And what the Exit Planning Institute has found is that there's a significant number of business owners, uh, what was the number, about 70% of business owners, that were surveyed six months after they exit, that exited for the primary source of retirement, profoundly regretted the decision to exit. So what, what that's telling us is that if you go from working 100 hours a week and you suddenly go down to zero hours a week, if you're not emotionally prepared for that, then you may struggle. If you've decided that, um, uh, that, you, that you didn't look after, well, there's a whole myriad of things. We need to go through an assessment. The combination of one, two, three is the three legs of the stool. So the guiding principle of the Exit Planning Institute is that we look at the three legs of the stool. So the personal side, so personal wealth and risk, life after plan and business value. So that's the guiding area. And the way that we do it is that one of the processes that we work with a business as an advisor is that we use the value acceleration methodology. And the value acceleration methodology is basically saying how can you really make a decision about what you're doing unless you're fully educated? So the first part of that is let's go in and just explain to you what business value is all about. Let's talk to you about your business value. Let's talk to you about your personal side. Let's talk to you about your personal wealth. Let's talk to you about personal risk. Let's also talk to you and ask you questions about whether you want to leave a legacy behind, about how you want to retire, about how you want to afford that lifestyle. So that's 
that's the first stage which is gate one at the end of that gate one we're going to end up with a whole series of action plans and those action plans we prioritize and then we work with the business owner in helping to implement that those action plans in gate two and at the gate two every 90 days we run through a decision scenario and the decision scenario simply is do we sell the business do we continue to grow and at that stage and at this stage and through this process we're going to be talking to the business owner about their exit options so what are their options do they sell to a family do they uh, stay in the business for lifestyle do they sell it all do they sell in 12 months do they sell in 36 months is it a trade sale a private sale is it a an ESOP an employee share scheme so how will they go through that process so we're going to then manage that action planning with most likely an advisory board and so if we're a busy accountancy practice we're going to manage that with a meeting each month which gives the business accountability when you go through and these action plans are going to be divided into our business and marketing plan our HR plan our capital strategy plan our um, uh, our employee our, our people plan our legal plan our estate planning our financial planning so these are all the plans we're not necessarily going to do them depending on our expertise but we're going to project manage them so that's that's in 10 minutes summarizing what we've done over the last three days